In this video, we're going to walk you through configuring a simple PEP VPN connection, or in the case your router supports speed fusion, a hot failover connection. We're using a PEPWAVE Max BR1 and a PEPWAVE Surf Soho MK3. These instructions will cover the local web administration, though configuration can also be completed through InControl2. Like IPsec VPN, PEP VPN serves as a simple site-to-site -site VPN tunnel between two or more PEPLink or PEPWAVE routers. When configured on routers that support the hot failover feature, you will see improved failover as well as session persistence on devices you choose to utilize the Speed Fusion VPN. Before we begin with any Speed Fusion configuration, we need to confirm our router's LAN IP addresses do not conflict with one another. All PepWave Max BR1 routers and Surf Sovo routers default to an IP address of 192.168.50.1. So by default, we would have a conflict. Our first router, the Max BR1 has already been configured to use an address of 10.5.1.1, but let's take a look at how to change the IP address in case you need to. Log into the web admin of the router and click on Network at the top. It should default to Network Settings on the left. If not, select LAN, then click on the untagged LAN here. This is what the default IP address is called. After clicking on the name, the edit window will appear. You can copy our 10.5.1.1 address, or enter your own within the private IP range. Here's another example using 192.168.60.1. Scroll down to the DHCP section and change the IP range next. Based on the default range, we'll make this 192.168.60.10 and 192.168.60.250. Scroll down to click Save, then click Apply Changes at the top right. If you need to complete this step, you will need to refresh your connection to the router after applying the changes. First, wait approximately 30 seconds after you click Apply Changes. Whether you are connected through Ethernet cable or through Wi-Fi, disconnect, then wait a couple seconds and reconnect. This will ensure your computer or other device obtains a new IP address based on your change. Then you just need to reload the web administration page at the new IP address. For simplicity's sake, we have the PepWave Max BR1's web admin page side by side with the Surf Soho's. On both routers, we're at the Advanced tab. For PepLink Balance routers, Speed Fusion or Pep VPN will be under Network. As you can see on our devices, we have our unique local ID already set. This page is not always active by default. If you find your page looks different than ours and only shows a local ID, you will first need to save and apply this, you can also change it if you prefer, but like serial numbers, each router must have a unique identifier. This is one factor Speed Fusion relies on for establishing its VPN connection. Make sure to click save and apply changes when you're done. Next, we have the remote IP addresses or hostname section. If the Soho is using a public WAN IP address, we would enter it here. If the public IP is dynamic and you're using a dynamic domain name service, you would enter the host name. In our case, the BR1 is using a public IP address, so we're going to leave this blank. For a simple hot failover connection, the remaining settings do not need to be changed. If needed, click on the priority to the right of the WAN to adjust it. When you're done, click Save and Apply Changes. Moving on to Soho, click New Profile and give it a name. Confirm encryption is enabled. Then enter the remote ID and pre-shared key, for the remote IP section, we'll enter the dynamic DNS host name from our BR1. Again, we're going to leave the rest of these settings as is. Then, we'll click Save and Apply Changes. At this time, the router will work on applying the settings and begin the process of establishing the VPN tunnel. In this example, the BR1 is where we have hot failover. Refer to the Send All Traffic To section. We have it disabled on the Soho and enabled on the BR1. Click on the little pen icon to the right to edit. First, select the VPN to send all traffic, then apply DNS servers. When done, click Save and Apply. For further control, we'll go to the Outbound Policy page. PepLink Balance users can find this under the Network tab. Note that PepVPN and Speed Fusion routes have priority over any rules here. There's also a feature called Expert Mode. If the user would like certain traffic or devices to go over a certain WAN to access the internet and not through the tunnel, they would need expert mode. Ours has expert mode enabled, though you may have to enable yours by clicking on the blue question mark at the top right. Currently, we've got a sample rule we set for our computer to use the VPN. 
if we need to route outside of the VPN. Simply click and drag the applicable rules above VPN routes like this. Let's check back in on the VPN status now. Okay, so we can see it's still working. We're going to speed up and you can see it shows established on our BR1. The Soho is a little behind since we're connected remotely through in control, but we want to show you the Soho rules. The Soho does not have outbound policy, but you can set outbound rules for the VPN on the configuration page. We have another VPN that the Soho is following rules for. On this home office network, we only want our work computer and phone to have failover to our cellular backup. You can see that in the rule here, notice the algorithm is set to priority. We also have this rule set for all other personal devices. This one we have the algorithm set to enforced. This means the devices will be disconnected if the primary WAN connection fails. Per normal configuration, be sure to click save, then apply changes when adding any rules. Keep in mind that any devices you are sending over the VPN will need to refresh their connections. You may be disconnected temporarily, or you may need to refresh the connection as we had shown earlier.